Twitter. It's almost out of sight, huh? Mm, uh, uh, take care. Twitter. Good luck, buddy. Cool. Goodbye. Twitter. I'll always remember you. Thank you for everything. Goodbye. Twitter. Twitter is a cesspool. It's a cesspool that many of us willingly participate in. It's a behavior that is tough to trace back to any logical sense of self-preservation or, or, or just normal motivating factors. Twitter is full of sad, hateful people upset that their lives haven't turned out the way that they had hoped. And so they are driven to, like crabs in a bucket, pull down anyone else who may be succeeding, who may just have broken the terrible, terrible law of being happy, enjoying things. One of the real ways that Twitter actively encourages the dumbing down of its user is by the removal of the willful removal in many cases of satire or jokes people are so desperate to get a like or a retweet that there's no incentive to try and understand the nuance or uh, satire that exists in most everybody's normal everyday life Twitter is reducing everything down uh, to the absolute most least genuine, the least charitable rendition. You see this with the whole screenshots and uh, screenshotting a tweet out of context or screen screenshotting half a tweet and it gets like a billion, you know, interactions. That's the type of behavior it endorses, which is exactly why you have such a huge percentage of these people who say insane things, who, who spout the dumbest, crazy things that many we hear laugh at. I actually feel bad for them now. They have spent so much time on Twitter that it has genuinely hurt their ability to understand humor, to understand satire, to understand context. And this likely has bled over to real life. They probably argue with their families on Thanksgiving about how Turkey is racist. Uh, they probably argue with their families on Christmas talking about how wrapping paper is actually a symbol for white colonialism. They take these same idiotic hot takes from Twitter and then they carry them into real life which leads them down to a path of guaranteed sadness and loneliness in real life. It creates a person in many cases, in its most extreme cases, who is completely unable to understand or connect with people IRL. And so what do they do? They spend more time on Twitter because these are the people that really get them. When the fact of the matter is, Twitter represents a tiny percentage of the population. And most of it is unrecognizable in the real world. Imagine if you talk to people uh, in the real world, like you did on Twitter. You'd be catching the, you'd be catching the backhand uh, quite frequently. People would call you a jerk, insufferable. You'd be the person sitting at the end of the bar alone, laughing to yourself how you're better than everybody. This is the type of mentality that Twitter cultivates. And this is what I hope my viewers will at least be aware of what it does to them if they so choose to continue to use Twitter. But if you choose to leave it, I bet you if you just log out, you deactivate for three weeks, I could almost universally guarantee you'll be happier. Now, I've 
been on and off Twitter uh, for you know years. And definitely, it's always been a net positive for me. Even just dunking on on people, even for all the you know the trouble that I get in when I put out a tweet that isn't worded correctly, or maybe it's just bad in general. Twitter has a way to erode uh, your humanity. It turns normal people into vindictive monsters consuming all of the worst in humanity. Things that are popular on Twitter. Just look what's being shared. There used to be a time where you would see excellent cat videos and 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 and, and heartwarming moments. But over the last year it's basically turned into an endless cesspool of rage bait and uh, faith destroying videos, opinions. It's no longer a net positive and I'll be leaving it. By the time you see this video, I will have already left it. I stayed because interacting with my viewers is super important to me, but I've put systems in place where we can so very easily continue to do that. There's a subreddit. If you're a Reddit person, reddit.com slash r the quoting, all these things will be linked. There's parlor, parlor.com slash profile slash the quartering will be linked. Don't like parlor? You can join my Discord, which will be linked in the description below as well. Thousands of people have already joined in just mentioning it a few times. I will be making a point during the day, each day, to stop into my Discord and ask what topics people are interested in for the day, to check my subreddit, and to check my parlor. Twitter is garbage. It rewards, it gamifies being awful. Just awful. And I participated in it too. Of course I did. It's fun for a while. But then you get caught up in just being awful all the time. And then you go outside and you realize that normal people aren't like that. Normal people aren't just waiting in the wings for a typo. Normal people aren't taking a picture of a mistake you made te seven years ago and walking up to you constantly. This you, bro? This you? Did you say this? What do you mean when you said this? It's not for me anymore. Twitter rewards this type of toxic behavior on purpose. It's why they're not making any money. Recently, it was announced by Jack Dorsey himself that Twitter is not making any money. And so they're considering rolling out Twitter Prime, Prime or some sort of paid Twitter program. Why do you think that is? Nobody wants to advertise on Twitter. It's garbage. We can look at scientific data as early as May 2019, where researchers discovered that when studying about 1,500 students, that Twitter has a negative effect on your ability to learn. The study found that students who used Twitter saw performance on tests reduced by 25 to 40 percent of a standard deviation from average result. Research, research found the decline should or, uh, decline was most notable among higher achieving students, including women. Twitter is not making you smarter. It's eroding your intelligence. It's used by 150 or so million people a day. But in fact, Twitter is a detrimental tool. And I'm not even talking about mental health. Economists working on a paper published this month by the Economics and Finance Department uh, at a university at Sacred Heart in Milan found that Twitter not only fails to enhance in intellectual attainment, but it substantially undermines it. It is quite detrimental. A professor of economic policy at the private research university on the paper's lead, the paper's lead author said in an interview with the Washington Post. Just think about how many times you check Twitter a day 
and let's say it's 30 minutes, 20 minutes a day. What if you read a book for 20 minutes a day? What if like I'm going to do, you know, you focus on being a better husband for 20 minutes a day, a better friend, you know, texting your friend to see how they're doing, uh, call your family, uh, uh, it, it, you know, pick up around the house, organize your video games, pick up a new hobby. Me, I'm going back to hobby grade RCs. Think of all the people who have literally ended their lives because of Twitter. Using Twitter reduced performance on the test by 25 to 40%. This is real. And this is not even the stress and getting into the addiction. An article by Recode also wrote, Twitter is wondering whether Twitter is bad for society. And Jack Dorsey is starting a new research to find out it is bad. The only benefit that I find from it is being able to talk to you. And now I've laid out the only three ways I'm going to do it going forward. And I sincerely hope that you join me there. I'm not, this isn't me telling you to uninstall Twitter. For many people, Twitter is a totally fine tool. It doesn't consume too much of their life. For me, I felt, and I have been talking about this on and off for the past month or so, I felt like it had become a negative impact on my life. I felt like it had been a time waster. And I just know going into the 2020 election, series, election season, it's only going to get worse. It's only going to be a place where angry people go to be angry, where people who are not interested in intellectual conversation go to have their biases confirmed. It's a place where bubbles, people self-select into their own echo chambers. And this goes be above and beyond just, oh, blue haired, you know, crazy people all stick together. No, we, if you follow me on Twitter, most of us are still in kind of the same bubble. We self-select that way in the content that we engage with. We tell the algorithm the type of people we like. These people take our data and they sell it to other companies. And then when we go on other websites, we get the same people we like and the same things they know we like sold back to us. Reconfirming our own biases in life based on the content that we want to watch or the products we, we talk about or the presidential candidate that we like. Twitter is not a net positive for me. It may be fine for you. You may be saying, ah, I just use it to meme a little bit. I use it to whatever. Okay, cool. I'd be willing to bet there's a hundred things that you could be doing better than that. And I'm guessing that a lot of people, if you really start to question the amount of time you spend on social media, and really ask yourself if you think it's been a positive experience and it's been a, a, a good thing. I have a feeling there'll be a lot of people that decide to take a break from it today too. I'm interested in talking to you now. I'm lucky I have a YouTube audience. I'm not, I'm not a small channel anymore that really needs that video to go viral on Twitter to live. Right now, I'm concerned about being a better husband, better work-life balance, and removing the toxic elements that are causing my hair to fall out at an, at an increasingly rapid rate. I hope that you'll either join the Discord, follow me on Parler, or that if you're a Reddit user, you use the Reddit. Because while these are all social media areas and platforms, and they have their own problems, none of them are anywhere near as trash as Twitter. Hope to see you there.